How to create and modify a histogram in RStudio. We're interested in working with actors' ages. These are the ages of actors who won an Oscar for Best Actor in certain years. The data set has already been loaded. It is called actor underscore age. And there's one variable, the variable of age. We're interested in making a histogram. The basic command for histogram in R, R Studio, is hist, and then the parentheses go around the object that you want to make a histogram of. So in this case, we want to make a histogram of actor ages. So how do you tell R Studio which variable you want? The first thing you want to put in is the name of the data set or the data frame, then a dollar sign, and then the name of the variable. and you will get a histogram. The rest of what you want to do with it is to play around with how it looks. You can control a number of different things about this histogram. In fact, there's a lot you can control about a histogram. To see a list of all the options or to get some help on any command, just like you could use help to describe a data set, you can use help for a command. So you'll type in here help, parenthesis, hist, because that's the command we're interested in finding, help on, and help will appear in the help window. General description, and all of these things are things that you can change in the histogram. I won't go over too many of these right now, but that is available for you. I'm going to highlight the ones that we'll be interested in. Breaks controls how many bins your histogram gets divided into. Main is the title of your histogram. The X label and the Y label, those are the names or the labels that you put onto the axes. You can get your plot back, or see it again, by clicking back on plots up here on the top, and now we see the histogram again. Knowing what you already know about histograms, you may see that you probably want to change the number of bins that are here. It looks like there's a few too few. Right? We need more bins. They, and these two names don't look like anything you'd ever see in a magazine or a newspaper you'd want to show someone. So we'll want to change those two things and change the number of breaks or the number of bins. Now in our studio, when you want to be changing these things, you will add it to the command that you've already used and you'll put it inside the parentheses. So we're going to start with this command we already use, this histogram after age. And we'll add some options to it by putting in a parenthesis and adding the next thing we want to change. So the first thing we'll try is changing the number of breaks. And let's try making it eight. Now we see that there are more bins left over here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So you have eight break points, which gives you nine bins. And you can play around with that as much as you want. One thing to know is that the up and down arrows on your keyboard will give you your command, scroll you through your command history. So if I scroll up, I see all the commands that I have put in. And I scroll back down, I go back through them again. So I can get back that command and I could change the breaks to three. And then I can see what happens to that. Another option that we might want to change would be the title. Remember the title was called main. So I'm going to say main, and whenever you're changing labels like this, you're going to say main, and then it shows you equals, and then what you want to put goes in quotes. So for example, let's make this, this is a histogram. Hit enter, go return, and now the title's changed to this is a histogram. This is also not a very helpful title. You want a title that describes what someone's going to see in that graph. Let's add in a change for the x-axis. So I'll use my up arrow to get back what I had. I'm going to separate the options again with a comma. And the, the title of the x-axis label is xlab and equal, similar to the syntax before where I had a command equals quotes. These are when you're naming things. I'm going to put down age of actors who won an Oscar for best actor. 
And you might want to also include the years that this is for, because there's only 32 observations in this one, so we know that they're not all the years. Once I hit enter, I see now that the label on the bottom of my axis has changed as well. To change any title that's on your y-axis, the same thing you will use the y-label equals quote maybe count you can also change color that's not color to be used to fill the bars I think cyan is an option oh it doesn't like that mm. We can also check back to the help to see what it should have been. Down in the bottom we have examples as well. I think cyan has to be in quotes. So notice the error message that it gave me said error and blah, 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 which doesn't make any sense. But then at the very end, it says object cyan not found. So it doesn't like that I called it cyan. Right? What it needed to be was the color needed to be in quotes. Right? We could change it to yellow or blue. Anyway, you can play around with these things. This is the basic way that you can get a histogram and how to change the bins use the breaks command, how to change the title, use main, how to change the label on the x-axis, xlab, on the y-axis, ylab. All of the options are in here, and you can feel free to explore that. Thank you, this has been How to Create and Modify a Histogram in RStudio.